Hi friends. This video is gonna be about how I published my very first book in around a week. So I'm gonna be telling the story of The Certainty of Stars, which is my first ever book. It's a poetry book. It's that's why it's little. Um but there are 40 poems in here and four different sections of poetry in here as well. So let's begin. So on around January 1st, the beginning of the year, I'm like, okay, this year I need to publish a book or two. And I wanted to self-publish something because I wanted to give it a try, you know, see if it's something I wanted to do in the future instead of going the traditional route, which I do now thanks for this experience. Um, but I didn't want to go right in with the novel because I didn't have something that was finished that I was willing to edit. And I just, at that point, I didn't have very many finished works. I actually have like three more now than I did at the beginning of the year, which is crazy. But I didn't have any novels that I felt ready to publish at that point. It's different now. But I did have a whole collection of poetry that I'd been working on for years. I find it kind of funny that the book is kind of centered around stars and this is the first notebook I ever wrote them in. So a lot of them I wrote in my notes app on my phone when they would come to me throughout the day, but a lot of them first were written down in this notebook, which I think is really cool because I have it forever and then I also have the real book. So, you know, kind of a full circle moment. And the other location that this, uh, these poems came from was some of them I wrote for a big poetry assignment for school for my creative writing class. And some of them I wrote for my first ever fan fiction, I Told the Stars About You. And one of them is my very favorite. It's at the very, I just said very a lot. It's at the beginning of the book. It's called I Told the Stars. It's also on the back, um, or like the title is. Um, but yeah, I really like stars, obviously, and I like to theme a lot of poetry around them, but the book is actually uh, a lot more diverse when it comes to the themes that are in it um, than just stars. Um, the idea of the certainty of stars, I had this title stowed away in my notes app. I'm sorry if the camera angle has changed. I need to get a new ring light. It keeps dying on me. Um, but as I was saying, the title is inspired by... The fact that if nothing else in the world is certain, there's always going to be stars in the sky in the end of the day. Even if you can't see them, they're still there for you. So, you know, you can take that as you will. Um, another thing that I really like about this book I wrote is the dedication. The dedication is for those who see words on paper as the finest source of escapism. I came up with that and I thought I was pretty smart. And then also the uh contents page i worked really really hard on the formatting of this and i think it's gorgeous and i'm gonna tell you how the book is separated into four different chunks now 10 poems in each to total up to 40 poems so the first section is called i told the stars it is about love it's about my experience with love in both this reality and in my shifting experiences um so there's a lot of shifting related poems in here if you're into that and then the second section is Broken Stars, which is about heartbreak. Um, so that relates to things that have happened in my real life. Um, and kind of that idea of like wanting to give up. Uh, actually, that's more so Falling Stars is the idea of wanting to give up, of being burnt out as a teenager and of wanting to get back to that good version of yourself. But, you know, having poor mental health. That's what Falling Stars is. It's about mental health and my journey with that. Um, and then Brightest Stars is about how I've overcome things like heartbreak and mental health struggles. Um, so it's kind of like the journey back up. It basically starts when you're in love, that you break your heart, that you have mental health struggles, and then you're on the road to recovery and being the best version of yourself. And then also included in the book is the acknowledgements page, which I haven't read in a while. I'm sure it's very cringy. <laughs> um, and then also I did a word bank so that's another thing you get in my poetry book is a word bank a list of words that I think are perfection because why not I think they're really pretty words 
and then also an about the author page, which now is inaccurate because I, my TikTok username is different, but if you search up this username, I still come up. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit about what The Certainty Stars is about. My sister just showed me how to make the ring light not die, so that's really great. Thanks a lot, Shay. Um, but yeah, let's talk about how I actually published this within a week. So the first thing I did was decided I wanted to start out by publishing a poetry book through self-publishing. And I already knew about Kindle Direct Publishing from some author videos on TikTok, and I heard about it from other people using it for self-publishing. So I looked into it, and basically if you don't already know, Kindle Direct Publishing is a print-on-demand resource for authors, and basically they print and ship out all of the books for you and then just take like a percentage of your earnings from that but when you sell a book you don't actually have to do anything which is really awesome um and i think it's a great resource so definitely check it out if you're into self-publishing i'll be using it later this year to publish my first novel which is crazy but thanks to this experience i know what i'm doing now i actually have a second project i published through kdp it is my reading log um it's a lot thicker than the poetry book actually and i do use it all the time to track what i'm reading um this was a another thing you can make on kdp is like activity books coloring books stuff like that to sell if you're into like some sort of passive income source i don't know but maybe you're not like a writer and you want to try it uh it was a great resource to make that too anyway after deciding i wanted to start out by publishing a poetry book through kdp I started to compile all of my poems from all the places I had said before. So I found some from my notes app that I liked, I found some in that star notebook that I like. I wrote a couple to uh, kind of match with the themes I decided on for the book. And I went through my old works, like I told the stars about you and uh, my projects for school that I had to write poetry for for creative writing things like that and I compiled them and formatted them on a Google Doc but then I realized that Kindle Direct Publishing provides Word documents of the exact size of book you want this is a 5 by 8 this is a 5 by 8.5 so that might not be true to be honest that looks like about an inch more anyway um that's what I remember it as and so they had the exact size of paper for me to do and I used my formatting to make all the pages look gorgeous and the same. And something just fell out of the book, but <laughs> I keep something in there for safekeeping. After I formatted it using the KDP template, I start on the cover. For the cover, I wanted something simple. This is the Dragon Constellation, which if you know me, you know it has meaning. And I also just really like it because it fits really well on this rectangular book. I wanted something that would take up a lot of space but not you know distract too much and it says a collection of poetry of poems by Fiona Holland this is backwards for me and the title I think it looks really cute and then the inner title cover page is the same so it matches um for the cover I used the KDP cover creator that um they provide on the step before the publication so when you're doing all of your like titling and the description of your book on Amazon, um, you also have to obviously upload a cover and they have a cover creator source that you can use to format it for the size of your book, which I thought was great. I designed the cover that would go into that on Canva. So this was designed on Canva. I actually pieced this together using Google Drawings and uh, PixArt. So I put a bunch of little stars and then drew lines to them on Google Drawings because I was really terrified about copyright back then. So I thought it'd be best if I just, I was going to hand, hand draw it originally, but I thought it would be best to just like do it myself so I don't have to worry about anything um, like that. So yeah, these fonts come from Canva. And yeah, that's all I have to say about the cover. I do have to mention some of the difficulties I had with this whole project that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to because obviously I could have done most of that in a day. Um, but the whole week kind of was me trying to um, 
upload the uploading process was not the best for me and I'm glad that it's been so long since I did it now because I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing again um the cover uploading it was fine because the formatting was always okay because of the cover creators resource um but the manuscript uploading it would sometimes just not not go well and then if there was anything I wanted to tweak I would have to re-download the whole file re-upload it. it took a minute to upload and all that but I ended up with something I'm really happy with so it was worth having to have patience <laughs> I'll say that um and people who have read the book really love it and I'm really thankful and it's always gonna have a really special place in my heart I probably won't really write a poetry book again until I'm a lot older and have collected more poems if you want to hear more about I Told the Stars About You, the book that started it all, um, you can watch my last video. It's all about I Told the Stars About You. And there's also a poem in here from my book Saturn Sun, which I originally wrote for that because it relates to this story, but it is also star themed, which is really convenient. Um, it's called My Universe if you have the book and if you've read Saturn Sun, you know what it is. Um, which is, that book is on Wattpad, so if you want to read it, it's completely free. If you want to get The Certainty of Stars, um, it is available on Amazon worldwide. It is also linked in the description of this video. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video about my poetry book, The Certainty of Stars, and, uh, stay tuned for next week's video because I will be doing another Redbubble video because it is now almost the end of my second month on Redbubble, which is insane, and I can't wait to tell you the results. Um, everyone really seemed to like the last video I did about Redbubble, and I do plan on doing more, but I would like to keep most of my content reading and writing related, um, but I will definitely keep doing these monthly Redbubble updates, and this update is even better than the last one, um, so stay tuned for that, and I hope that makes some of you excited. Um, thank you so much for, I think, 70 subscribers? That's crazy, um... I only started this channel a little while ago, so that's awesome. Anyway, I love you so much, and come back next week.